Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for 30 subscribers. Actually, 35 now. It's amazing. Because we just hit 20 like three days ago, and now we are at 30. Thank you so much for all the support. This is the 30 subscriber special. Uh, we will be reacting to all the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Like, basically, they're going to make the um here read the title of the video they're gonna add scientifically accurate dinosaurs to jurassic park and probably some of jurassic world i'm so excited to watch it so let's get into the reaction let's go this is what the original jurassic park t-rex breakout team looks like and yeah. this is what it looks like if we were done today with our modern mm. this animation and actually isn't is half bad ever seen on screen, but after 29 years, they're obviously a bit outdated, which begs the question, what would these iconic movie scenes look like? I don't get this, but for some reason, they literally just were like, yeah, we're gonna add those to the Lophosaurus. That wasn't even in the book. Right? Anyway. Well, to answer that, I went ahead and made scientifically accurate models of these four Ooh, look at this model. Jurassic Park franchise and added them back into the Ooh, movies. yeah, see, they're doing the Jigo. I needed her to be based yeah. on real science and everything we now know about the real animal. So I downloaded this 3D scan of a real fossil and dropped it into the blender. But the head was a bit wonky. Yeah. I then remembered that I had this guy sitting right next to me. So I went outside, took some photos of my phone, and after putting it into some software, bam, an accurate, unwonky T Rex skull. Ooh. And this provided the perfect base to start sculpting. This is where I really get to build up the forms and shapes of the creature and just really get her to look like a real, well fed, living animal. Yeah. This is actually my favorite part of the whole process. 15 million polygons later, the sculpt is all done. Oh my god, that would be so much work. Color, which is one of those things that doesn't fossilize. So, what color should our dinosaurs be? Well, it's likely the dinosaurs were very brightly colored, just like modern birds, more brightly colored than the ones in the movies. Except, any real fan will know that those dinosaurs are supposed to be female, which means yeah. that the more dull and brown coloring from the movie might actually be fair. Oh, accurate. yeah, I so never thought it wasn't about broken. I decided it like not that. to fix it. I then gave it a skeleton and did something I've never done before. <laughs> I added muzzle simulation for that extra sense Ooh. of realism. Once the model is finished, here's where you really see what has changed. She's chunkier, has yeah. lips, but other than that, it's actually, it's actually kind of cute. I'm being honest with you. Look, that old one looks so bad, time. but the but new one looks where really are good. The feathers? Well, T Rex probably didn't have any. You see, yeah, I agree just with that. To have feathers. It would be akin to an elephant wearing a coat in the savanna. Yeah. It would have made the animal overheat. Maybe a peach fossil covering a sunflower planet would have been possible, but there's little evidence for that also. And mm -hmm. so, on Occam's razor, and to save us from runner time, I'm opting on a featherless T Rex. Yeah. In fact, she was so big that she probably couldn't even run, but her legs were so long that she could probably still beat you in a race. No, say. Say. <laughs> And I was also able to add this animated raindrop material Ooh. to really make her feel nice and wet. And to bring her into the movie was a process of matching the camera position and lighting of the original footage, yeah. rendering that out, and then comping her into the scenes inside of After Effects. And now, before we see everything put together, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to tell you about today's sponsor, Rage Shadow. I'm sorry, I'm gonna Most skip this sponsor. Yep, the classic with the cup. The goat died. Are oh, you stupid? I forgot that scene. Oh, yeah, that looks good. It is staring at us. Classic. Look around. Then are. Yep. A few moments later. 
What about Timmy? That, that, like in the movie, they just left Timmy to die. They were like, we do not care. Oh, yeah. Also, forgot to mention that T Rex might have the best eyesight, yeah. like, ever. So. That is actually it. He said he was going to make them out of it. However, T Rex isn't the only dinosaur in the series. So, next up are the main villains of the franchise, the Velociraptor. Ooh. Now, these guys need to be terrifying. But you see, a real Velociraptor was about the size of a dog. Not yeah. very scary, which explains why Spielberg based them on the biggest raptor they had yet found, Deinonychus. Mm -hmm. But even these guys weren't big enough, so what are we to do? Luckily for us, during filming, they found this guy. A the six Utah foot raptor. tall, 18 foot long raptor giant. This is yeah. the Utah raptor. The Utah raptor. The Utah, raptor. Utah guys, raptor. The Utah raptor. The Utah raptor. The size of a man's torso. For a quick comparison, here's the difference between a Velociraptor, a Denonychus, and finally, the Utahraptor. This yeah. guy is terrifying, except for its jaw. Some people might think I made a mistake, but no, it very much looked like that. <laughs> it was perfect for gobbling up hot dogs or starting a shrimp business. And, on the T-Rex, yeah. this guy was definitely covered in feathers. I so, agree with that. back in it, it who says, More like a six-foot turkey. Who you have chosen death was more right than he could ever know. Because yeah, you see, not only would it have been a giant turkey, but it probably would have been about as intelligent. Which leads us to a question I want to address. Could a raptor have opened a door in a shoe? Okay, movie? that it actually can not happen because their wrists wouldn't move like that, so oh. it would be like well, that. As we can know, they break their arm if they tried. However, unlike humans, dinosaurs couldn't pronate yeah. their wrists. And so if they tried this, well, mm -hmm. their wrists would break. <laughs> So, yeah. I had to animate it in such a way that it could grip the handle without its palm. With the animation and model now finished, we once again go through the process of coming into the scenes, and without further ado, here you have the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park with a scientifically accurate raptor. I'd be so scared. I'd be like... <laughs> okay, sorry about that back on the video. There it is. Hmm? <laughs> That's what it's like. Yeah. the door open. Okay. In Jurassic World Dominion, the Velociraptors just bust through the doors. They do not care, but in Jurassic Park, it's like, you? Like, what the? Well, I guess they were, uh, Trociraptors, so, um, yeah. <laughs> I love that scene in the movie. Or just bites its neck and he's like Bleh! Yep, there's a car there, so But now let's see it active velociraptor. A real? Like a an actual velociraptor? It won't even be tall enough. It would have to jump to even see yeah. <laughs> that would actually still be pretty terrifying. Okay, it's maybe that one would not be terrifying. My foot fell asleep and it hurts. Did that. I forgot his name, but yeah. So how much different is this weird chimera of a dinosaur from 
thought, well, this one he looked like in the movies, this one he looked like in 2013, and now here's your modern reconstruction. Yeah. Ooh, it's still Jurassic Park color. And it's clear I like that. That, that actually looks really game, cool. Which brings us to the most controversial scene for the entire franchise, and one that I knew you guys would want me to address. Could a Spinosaurus actually be a T-Rex? No. I'm sorry, the T-Rex is too skip. Refuse yeah. on principle to answer the question who would win in a fight between because I think it is the most trite, boring, and uninteresting thing that one could possibly say about dinosaurs, even in fiction. But it's T Rex. It pretty much comes down to T Rex being just too heavily armored by dinosaurs, especially when compared to Spinosaurus. Yeah, I agree with that. Sorry, Spino. Initial neck bite in, well, it's game over. Yeah. However, I actually love a Spinosaurus, and I think the debate takes away from how cool and unique. This dinosaur really was. So instead for recreation, since everything about his anatomy points to him being a swimmer, there's no better scene to recreate than the one in the river. Ooh. In its natural habitat. I'm excited and to see the digger. Once again, with all that out of the way, here is Jurassic Park 3, the scientifically accurate Spinosaurus. There's a sail. Oh, there's the accurate spino. It's looking at you guys. A few moments later. Oh, yep, there comes the classic version. Actually looks really good too. I wanted to do at least one dinosaur yeah. from the new movies, Dominion. but considering the first two films featured fictionalized hybrids, there was only one option. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. The okay. Giganotosaurus. Oh boy. Now this, while definitely a cool design, is also one of the least accurate depictions of yeah. any dinosaur in the entire franchise. Especially considering that we have quite a few fossils of the real animal, and the one shown in the movie could be mistaken for another hybrid. So what did the Ganosaurus actually look like? Well, if T-Rex was a Mike Tyson... They should have just called it another hybrid. would be the Usain Bolt, built much more for speed and athleticism compared to a heavyweight brawler. Yeah. And I think that really comes through in our model. There it is. So, was he truly the biggest meat eater that ever lived? No. Well, the Spinosaurus was the biggest, and it wasn't... Probably about as big as T-Rex. Yeah. From the puzzle we have, any size difference is kind of negligible. So Spinosaurus is still the king in that regard. Mm -hmm. However, this time I was just running low on time, so instead I brought him into Unreal Engine, where I rebuilt the entire scene from scratch. And so here is Jurassic World Dominion with a scientifically Ooh. accurate Giganotosaurus. Here it is. Yeah. The Giganotosaurus didn't do anything wrong. All he did is eat a bug that was already dead. He just was trying to exist, man. You're wrong. A few moments later. Oh! We're doing the flare thing. That would take so much time because he said he had to like redo the entire thing. There comes the dragon yeah, part. Yeah. Have Jurassic Park with scientifically accurate dinosaurs. Let me okay. Your favorite and yeah. Dinosaurs. That was that was a really good video. So I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for 30 subs. It's crazy. Like we just celebrated like four to three days ago that i just got 20 subscribers we gained actually 15 subscribers because now i have 35 i think hmm, let's let's see yeah 35 and see we literally just celebrated having um 20 subscribers just literally three days ago so yeah thank you so much um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.